Hi everyone, welcome to Grady SAT Math. In this video, we are on the topic of heart of algebra, and today we are covering specifically solving equations and inequalities. This is the first video in a series where I'm gonna do full, free, in-depth lessons for the SAT Math section. So if you're interested in these lessons and getting a free course essentially on YouTube, please subscribe. So one of the first things you wanna learn and you know make sure you have are the fundamentals of algebra when you're hitting the SAT. One, because you're gonna see questions that are explicitly asking you to solve equations, move variables around, that kind of stuff. And also because you're gonna need these skills in later questions. So that's why we're starting with solving equations and inequalities. And we got a couple questions here. We're gonna go through them, walk through you know, how to solve them overall, walk through how to solve these specific questions, and hopefully at the end of this video, you can solve equations and inequalities. Let's get into the first question. So the first one here, two z plus one equals z what value of z satisfies the equation above? So I'm gonna rewrite it over here just so I have it. 2z plus one equals z. And equations, anytime you see an equation and you wanna solve for a variable or asks you um, what value satisfies the equation, what it's doing is asking you to isolate the variable, which just essentially means you want z or whatever variable it is by itself equals something. You know, in layman terms, it means what is z equal? But you know, thinking about it this way helps you understand how to solve the problem because up here you got Z kind of intertwined with everything else. So you have to get rid of everything that's with Z. So that's how you solve equations is you get the variable by itself and you do this by slowly taking things away. So looking at this one here, it's a little more complicated because we have a Z over here and a Z over there. So when that's the case, the first thing you wanna do is group all the variables together. And we got a Z over here, a two Z over here, so I'm gonna subtract this Z to get it rid of here, because Z minus Z gets rid of it. And a rule for equations is anytime you do one thing to the one side, you have to do it to the other side. So I'll subtract the Z from here as well. So now I have just Z, because two Z minus one Z is Z, plus one, and Z minus Z is zero. So we have Z plus one equals zero. So now we, we have the Z plus the one, we wanna get rid of that plus one, so we subtract that one to get rid of it, do it on both sides. And now we have z equals zero minus one is negative one. So here, our answer would be negative one. So again, with all these equations, you want to isolate the variable and you do this by slowly removing everything else involved with the equation. Let's try another problem. Next equation, maybe a little bit easier. It says what value of x satisfies the equation three x plus three equals 27. So I'm gonna start by rewriting the equation. 3x plus three equals 27. So we got the three x, but then we got the three attached to it. So first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this plus three. And to get rid of something, we do the opposite. So a positive three, we get rid of by doing a minus three. So minus three. And remember, anything we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other. So minus three. So cross that out, we have three x equals 27 minus 20, uh, 27 minus three is 24. Now we have three X, which is three times X. So we want just one X. So to get rid of a three times, we do the opposite, which is a divide by three. So we divide this by three, divide this by three, and we get X equals 24 divided by three is eight. So our answer over here will be B. Next one, this is kind of a, a level two of these because it has an equation that it says, what is the value of this one? So anytime you see this, what it's telling you to do is solve this equation and then use that variable and plug it into here. So I'm gonna start by rewriting the equation. 2n over five equals 10. And this one's a little tricky. So we have the 2n divided by five equals 10. The divided by to me is the ugliest thing about it, so I like to get rid of that. So to get rid of a divided by five, we do the opposite, which is multiply by five. So times five, and we do the same thing to this side. So that cancels, five times one fifth is just one. So you have two n equals 10 times five is 50. We have two times n equals 50. To get rid of the two times, we do the opposite, which is divide, so divide by two and we get n equals 25. So you'll notice that's not an answer because that's not what it's asking. It's asking what is the value of 2n minus one? So 2n minus one, 
plug in the 25 for n, 2 times 25 minus 1, 2 times 25 is 50, minus 1 is 49. So our answer is going to be B. So that's a level 2 question. With all SAT questions, you want to watch out and make sure you're answering what they're asking for. Luckily in this one, they didn't even give a possible answer of 25, so we couldn't have got messed up there, but it may have tripped you up if you got that answer then didn't see it in the answer set. So last questions. This video is about equations and inequalities, and when I looked through practice tests and actual tests, you don't see a lot of questions where they explicitly ask you to solve an inequality you know, by itself, but there are different questions that involve them on the test or have systems where there's two of them, you gotta compare them. So it's a good skill to have to be able to solve one. So here I took an equation question and just modified it a little bit. So that way we can go through the fundamentals of solving inequality. And here the good thing is that everything is the same as equations except for one detail that I'll touch on. So here I'll rewrite the equation. Negative x minus one over three is less than k. And it says k is three. So I'll just plug in three for k. We have negative x minus one divided by three is less than three. So we wanna get this x by itself. The division is the ugliest thing here. So to get rid of the divided by three, do the opposite, we just multiply by three. So multiply by three, multiply by three. So we get negative x minus one is less than nine. Three times three is nine. Now we want the x by itself, but we get the minus one. So we do the opposite and add one. Add one to both sides, we get negative x is less than 10. So here, we are not looking for negative x, we're looking for positive x. So we have a negative one times x. So we get rid of a negative one times, we do the opposite, which is divide by negative one. And this is where the difference with inequalities comes in. So whenever you divide or multiply by a negative with an equality, you have to flip the sign, which is the little carrot thing. So we get x, and instead of being less than, it becomes greater than negative 10. So our answer would be x is greater than negative 10. This was the first video in a series I'm doing of full free lessons for the SAT math section. I know when I was studying, I hated having to buy the books or buy lessons or you know, you spend money to learn how to take the test, which is just a barrier to entry for college. So on this channel, I'm providing free SAT tutoring. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please subscribe.